Let's take a closer look at the Sorcerer dice set from Beetle and Grimm's. Villa Verikino, living the Star Wars life. Hello there, and welcome back to the Villa Verikino YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking a closer look at the Sorcerer dice set from Beetle and Grimm's. So, I recently completed my first D&D campaign playing a sorcerer, and so I thought I'd commemorate that by getting a dice set to sort of match my class. So I uh, certainly caught my eye was the Beetle and Grimm's range of dice inspired by each of sort of the classes available. There's a huge range and each of them come in a cool tin and they each come with actually not one but two dice sets. You can see that there is a primary style and a secondary style um, and you get a full set of well the first set and then sort of accompanying ones of the second one which sort of there's like a blue style and a red style so very cool to check these out in person uh, this one was out of stock in quite a few places so I managed to find a stockist uh, that had a one set <laughs> so I was very excited uh, it just arrived so I'm very keen to open it up and check them out I hear a lot of good things about Beetle and Grimm and especially they're like huge big sets that they do the deluxe sets don't know where the best place to cut this is. I'm going to try here. They're deluxe sets of the sort of Dungeons and Dragons campaigns where they come with all the additional things like maps and trinkets and things like that. They look amazing. So not quite in the budget for that just yet. So I thought I'd check out these dice sets uh, for my character. So that is like a lovely sort of, it's like a matte finish. It looks like a drawing, but it's quite uh, sort of raised. I don't know how well you can sort of see that on camera, how raised this is. Um, it's really quite neat. It really sort of brings the, the drawing to life. I love the sort of blue tones here with the sort of swirly uh, casting around. Very, very cool. Each, each tin has like, you know, a different character, class with matching artwork that looks really, really pretty. So this seems to be printed on the back. It's not like a card insert. I thought it might just fall out, but this is actually printed on the bottom of the tin um, in much the same way that this is. So that's nice. This is paper that is stuck on a little bit. Okay, so we're just going to pull that off there. So that just tells you what's going to be on the inside. So very keen to see how this is packaged. So let's dive in. Let's see how easy it is. Okay, so they are in a Ziploc bag here. This is a plastic tray insert that looks like it's kind of supposed to stay in there. You could probably wrench it out if you really want to, just use the tin for something else. But I quite like the fact that that's plastic. If you want to keep your dice in here, they're not going to make that. I know some people like the metal sort of sound. I find it sort of really quite loud. So I appreciate the fact that there is a plastic insert. So if you want to keep your dice in here, it's not going to really, uh, rattle around and make that loud metal sound. Not really big enough for a dice tray, but that's not really what this set is about. And you can sort of see the embossing there um, on the sort of the, on the other side of the lid there. Very, very cool. So let's open them up and take a closer look at the dice themselves. So they have an interesting font on these ones, quite different to the font that you'll see on the sort of standard dice that you'll find um, around. So I get this to focus. It's really quite fun. So these are the secondary dice, which are the sort of red and black, very sort of fire inspired. <laughs> and then these first set are the sort of colors of the box, this kind of smoky gray and blue that look really cool. Uh, not sharp edged, but they're kind of like a mix. They're certainly a little sharper on the edges than some of the dice that I've seen. Um, I'm really quite liking the way that they feel in the hands and still very quite readable, even with that sort of slightly more fancy font. It's still quite a readable font, the nice bright white text there. Just a standard 20 um, and a 1, so no special sort of logos or characters on the dice, which I like. I know that a lot of companies want to sort of, you know, stamp their mark on their dice so they have their own unique logo on either the 1 or the 20. 
Um, these ones do use dots. I know if you have a personal preference between some of them have dots, some of them will have a line underneath. The lines are easy to read, but I, I understand, you know, sometimes it just sort of adds a little bit of extra sort of clutter to the to the faces. So I don't mind the dots. I think these are really quite neat. Some of them are a little bit more bluer, smokier than others. This one you can really see it there on the eight. Um, let's see, this one is, yeah, this one's mostly gray with some really cool sort of blue swishes here. I think that's quite cool. Very much in keeping with the colors of the tin, you can kind of see them there. Each of the each of the sets sort of is matches the the tin sort of design, so you get a sense. I love the really strong sort of uh, swirls here on the D20. Very cool, very pretty. Like I've, you know, I know I'm going to get sort of down the rabbit hole with dice collecting. I'm just that sort of person that's very much drawn to collecting and just pretty little objects in general. But I wanted a set that I wasn't going to be too fussy about, you know, like not worried about, you know, oh, if I might chip them or if I lose one or something like that. This is a really nice set, um, but it's one that I actually do want to play with. They feel really nice in the hand. Um, and I like the fact that there is, you know, sort of different themes here. So we've got different, um, different dice, you know, if we want to roll damage and we can get out our angry red ones <laughs> um, and then for you know maybe like perception or something like that we we're rolling these ones you know with sort of befitting the character so i'm just going to roll a couple just see how they feel see how they sound <laughs> i got a seven and a three so <laughs> not the best there but they feel really nice and they've got that classic Sort of plastic dice sound so I like those very very cool so yeah they're not too bad priced especially considering the number of dice you get in here um, you know certainly affordable compared to some of the very very pretty sort of uh, fan-made dice that's out there gosh if you browse Etsy there are some gorgeous dice out there but these are just a nice affordable set uh, to add to my collection. I know I'm going to be getting good use out of these. I like the font that it's a little bit different to the standard font, but it's still readable. I find some of them are a little bit swirly and you sort of find yourself sort of wanting to pick it up and study the, study the numbers a little closer, but very, very readable, well painted, just nice in the hand just just what i need nothing too nothing too fussy just a nice set that sort of feels like it's inspired by your class i could easily see i have seen some pictures with people sort of lining up all of these tins that because they play you know a lot of campaigns a lot of characters or they just like collecting in general that they have all of the sets uh b lingrams even does a game master set uh so even the dm doesn't miss out on having a cool themed dice set so you can buy like all of them uh, and sort of, you know, grab them off your display uh, for whichever character you happen to be playing in that session. So you can see that really cool swirly color there. Very, very cool. So overall, very happy to add these to my dice collection. I'm sure I'll be using them in my next session. Hope you enjoyed this little mini review and unboxing of the Beedlingrim's Sorcerer Dice Set. I'll have some good pictures up on the blog so you can see all the different colors and the swirls of these dice a little closer up. Sometimes it's hard to get the camera to focus on small objects, but I think these look really cool and I really like the feel of them. Uh, some dice feel too light. I like the feel of these. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to check out some of our other Dungeons & Dragons related content here on our YouTube channel. And I'll catch you in the next one, and may the Force be with you. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, check out our other videos, and subscribe for alerts about new uploads. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.